don't miss a second, I might get a crack shot at that elusive one. All right, I got a special treat today. I'm going to hunt them pigs with my AK-47. That way 40 comes out. Or at least get two or three of them. Make sure y'all stay tuned. I'm going to spread a bunch of bullets at them. Go get them. All right, everybody. Turkey season's over. Now we can throw corn out and then track them big old hogs. Hopefully one of them beasts come out on me today. Or that big sounder, that big old group of female pigs. Got about 40 of them coming to the feeder. They just came out 9.30 this morning. Hopefully they come back before dark. Dang, I forgot my darn spotlight. I had a little green light to put underneath the feeder. The problem with that is you're leaving scent by the feeder. So you don't want to do that unless you have time with a couple of rain events to wash the scent away. You don't want to do that before you hunt it. You leave it alone, let it rain on it, and you hunt it fresh. Anyway, we're about to load and make ready. I'm going to pop them with the big gun. We going to get them. Open sight. Who needs a scope, man? We doing this old school. We got to load this baby up. So we catch one walking in. Get it ready. Safety on. Go and get him. Yeah, this works pretty good. Where them damn pigs at? Come on. Guys, we made it to the tower stand. Got a good south wind that's covering up my noise and my scent. Feet is out that way. Nothing's under it yet, so hopefully I'll get something. I'm about to climb up this stand. I like to carry the gun when I climb. Pull the bag up with the rope. I might skip the rope. I'm gonna make two or three trips up and down. That way I don't bang nothing on the stand. Y'all watch. Some of y'all might recognize this stand. This is where Patton shot that monster. Smokes. Look at the size of that moon. I know. It's a full wow. moon. Wow. That video here's a link to it make sure you hit that button i'm linking at the end also it was an awesome hunt with my big boy i set up the camcorder without that the footage come out like crap with the gopro you can't zoom in you can only zoom in so much before it gets pixel if you want to start filming make sure you get one of these camcorder Watch what fluid head you buy too. I have a uh, Manfrotto. Beautiful, nice fluid head. Heavy, solid, stable. You don't want to lug that big thing in the woods. Besides, this ain't Hollywood. If you want to film your own hunts, get the cheap stuff to start off.
All right, I got three different fluid heads. The Manfrotto's the biggest, most sturdiest one. Then I have a mini one. Let's weigh them. See what you feel like bringing in the woods with all that extra weight. Let's get this thing calibrated. We're going pounds and ounces. Let's see how much the Manfrotto weighs. Make sure it ain't touching the table. All right, so we got three pounds, 11 ounces. That's close to four pounds of extra weight that you'd have to bring with you in the woods. Here's my King Joy Amazon Special El Cheapo. I think these are 30 bucks. I'm gonna have a link in the description. This is my primary fluid here. Let's see how much it weighs. One pound, 1.7 ounces. And here's my last fluid head. A newer, let's see how much this one weighs. 9.6 ounces. This one kind of gets in the way. It doesn't rotate good. So I prefer this one, the King Joy. One pound, 1.7 ounces. Get what you like. That's still a lot better than this monster. Almost four pounds. This is good for inside when you're cooking and stuff. So just keep that in mind when you start buying stuff for the field. If y'all want to see what kind of camera gear and accessories I use, y'all go in the description after this. Hit the more icon. I got a little list of some of the things I use. You buy what you want. You got to think about how heavy it is, quality. And when you're self-filming, quantity is better than quality, especially when you're starting out. Get some cameras. Get a GoPro. Start off with a GoPro and your iPhone. It works. That's what we do. Man, look at this shit. Shotgun mic. It ain't gonna fit. That ain't worth a shit. Oh well. They got a big monster pig in here. Hopefully he comes out. Big old ugly son of a gun. They got two big sows. What about 30 babies? Unbelievable. It's like a circus. When the beater goes off, the egg makes all that noise. It's like a dinner bell goes off and they all come running up the right away. Check it out. That's the feeder leg, y'all. I'll put a big pile of feed right here. It looks like they've been nailing it. Hopefully they come back for another snack. That right there is within good range for the AK. The feed in beyond is good range for the rifle. I got a 6.5 Creedmoor Browning A-Boat. Trigicon scope. Well, the feeder went off, so. We'll see if they come running. My buddy said a couple of deer were coming out. God damn. I'm pregnant. I need to go on a diet, man. I've been eating too much deer sausage. I need some pork. It's leaner. My dad gave me this. He's 82 years old, and he wanted me to bring him some pork. I think that might do the trick. Hey y'all, I'm uh, playing my phone a lot in the stand. And if you don't like it, go to shit. Look at this, I'm charging my headlight in case I got a blood trail. I'm charging my phone. I got two connections on one of these battery backups. I mean, I like it, it's made in China. It's called pocket juice. You know them Chinese people all about that pocket juice. They like pocket juice. I like pocket juice too. Let me know in the comments if you like pocket juice or not. Alright, we done. I'm getting out of the stand. Check y'all out. Lil Al. Guys, we're heading back to the tower stand. It's Sunday morning. Sunday after turkey season. I'm gonna go kill some time and hopefully kill some pigs. I got a cell camera picture yesterday. I parked the bike at 531. The pigs crossed by that feeder at 523. Check it out. I just missed them sons of bitches. Luck was on that side yesterday. Hopefully today is on mine. After today's hunt, I gotta go download the pig trap. I put a camera on it. Of course, no pigs. I was hoping it rain washed my scent out. 
wind's blowing from the south, so I could still talk a little bit. Oh, some nice deer tracks. That ain't pig tracks. Maybe we'll see some deer this morning. Maybe a buck with some velvet horns. I'm gonna bust that in the dome if it comes out. Chasing on my deer. Not my deer, our deer. Y'all don't go nowhere, stay tuned. my sunshade the sun was killing me come on biggie biggie i brought my wireless microphones and uh i forgot the goddamn wire so i ain't got no wireless microphones let me get this baby ready you might left the cool cans in here miss a second, I might get a crack shot at that elusive one. You know what's cool, everybody? It's May 7th, and this off-season flew by. It's almost time to start practicing with the boat. I hope Mississippi has that velvet season again. I still got my license from last year. Come September, I'm gonna be hunting with a stick and string for deer, not these wild, nasty pigs. Ain't nothing wrong with these wild pigs, so you feed the hungry, and that's why we're here. We're here to feed the hungry or the hangry. Time flies by. It's almost deer season. It'll be here before y'all know it. Make sure y'all get y'all spots set up. Y'all don't want to be playing around by y'all spots in August and September. Bring a lot of water. It's hot. I don't know about y'all, but when them pigs come out, you got to aim for the neck in between the head and the front shoulder and that spot right there. That way, if you pull your shot a little bit, you still kill them. So it's not a big neck, it's not wide. The neck bone, it's not where y'all think it should be. Take a look at this right here. Look at the anatomy of a pig, a wild pig. I think all pigs are like this, the master gan wild pigs. If you haven't done your research, go look it up. Look, if they come out close enough, I'm gonna aim for the neck with the AK. The rest of them, I'm just aiming for bodies. Let them bodies hit the flu. Chase of the pigs, huh? Son of a gun. That was the special animal I told y'all about. We out here dog watching. Shit. There's a pig underneath the feeder. Two y'all. sure y'all subscribe click on this link y'all stay tuned we got better action coming your way